So I'm uh, currently in Slido and I've been using Slido, that's S-L-I dot D-O, to just get some instant feedback or ask questions of my pupils. Now, look, Slido is not massively different from a number of other different apps that are available. But what, what makes this different, I think, is two, two things. Number one, you can run it directly from Google Slides, Microsoft PowerPoint Teams, coming soon, Zoom as well. And that's a game changer for many people. The also other thing is, is that you can add um, word clouds and uh, other kind of not just questions. So um, while you might use Google Forms or you might use Kahoot or you might use Plickers as different AFL tools, they're great and they all have their place. Um, I'm really liking uh, Slido's cloud uh, word cloud feature. So let me show you how to set that up. So in um, Slido, you just click new slide from scratch. And I'm just going to choose example, but you're going to choose a much better example than that and uh, schedule that event. And there it is. Now I'm going to create a poll and my poll is in the form of a word cloud. I'm going to ask what musical features can you hear? Uh, maybe I've just played them a video and I'm going to talk to them about that video. So uh, what musical features can you hear? I'm going to allow them to give me multiple answers. I, I'm going to keep the uh, profanity filter on and I'm going to keep the default character limit to 25 because I don't want sentences. I just want um, succinct answers and save that. So um, in my lesson, I have um, I have played maybe a video or a music track and I want them now after I've explained it to them I want them to um, to give me some feedback I want them to engage in the lesson so I share my link with participants and then when I'm ready I can launch my my presentation so go to present and I can just go to uh, full screen if I, if I like, but also I can integrate with any of these apps as well. But I'm just going to go full screen. And um, you'll notice that on the screen, you've got either the option of going to slido.com or and, and entering that number, or you can open the um, the, the the poll in Slido using the QR code if pupils are on their phone. And so once I'm in my once I'm in my um, my Q and A, currently showing my Q and A, but uh, once I'm ready to go live, I can just click on this kind of panel at the bottom. So this is the introduction screen. Screen. Click on my panel at the bottom and click on what musical feature can you hear and now this automatically will push this through to whatever device the pupil is on and so as pupils um, start typing um, they will their answers will appear on screen and it'll be the mo the top 25 answers so as they are writing um, they might answer kind of you know one thing or um you know a couple of things the more people who say um drums for example the bigger that word gets so it's just this is just classic um word cloud and so as you've got a whole class answering these questions you're building up um, some idea of what the music is about together uh, and so on and so forth and then um, and so that is how you can use Slido and you've got their responses there as well unfortunately the responses unless they sign in are anonymous um, but this is very quick uh, this this will take 30 seconds just quick feedback getting um, and pupils love to see that as well appearing on the screen. So um, this is how I've been using Slido.